Ron's Gone Wrong is the latest film from Disney's 20th Century Studios and the debut film from Locksmith Animation Studio. It stars Jack Dylan Grazer, Zach Galifianakis, Ed Helms and Olivia Colman. Before we get into this, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It does wonders in getting my content out there. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to keep up to date with all my content. Ron's Gone Wrong is the story of Barney, a socially awkward middle schooler, and Ron, his new walking, talking, digitally connected device, which is supposed to be his best friend out of the box. Ron's hilarious malfunctions, set against the backdrop of the social media age, launch them into an action-packed journey in which boy and robot come to terms with the wonderful messiness of true friendship. All right, so this is one that I've been anticipating for a little while, but it's also one I've had maybe a little bit of hesitancy towards, particularly when you're judging off the trailers and the synopsises and all that kind of stuff. I mean, this, from the outset, this very much looked like your kind of generic, run-of-the-mill, family animated film that we've seen a number of times already. Something that didn't look like it was really gonna bring much new to the table. This also comes from a brand new animation studio from the UK called Locksmith Animation. This is a joint venture between animation director Sarah Smith and Ardman executive Julie Lockhart. So when you hear there's a new studio handling an animated film or just a new studio really handling anything, you kind of feel like, well, maybe is there going to be like a little rocky period at the beginning where it takes them a while to kind of get into the groove? And like, what's this movie going to be like? Obviously, this movie isn't going to be produced on a, an enormous like Pixar or Walt Disney Animation kind of budget. What kind of movie are we going to get out of these? These are the things that are kind of running through my head. Uh, so thanks to Disney, I was able to view a, uh, an early screener of Ron's Gone Wrong. And let me say, I'm very happy that I took the time to watch this one because this film is an absolute delight. Is it your kind of standard run-of-the-mill family animation thing? Yeah, I feel like there's not a whole lot here that it brings to the table that is fresh and brand new. There's not a lot here that we haven't seen before. Again, yes, there are big similarities to the Mitchells versus the Machines. There's a lot of stuff in here that feels very Big Hero 6. But apart from that, this is a really sweet, really charming, really, really beautiful film with a whole lot of heart. And that is what really surprised me about this, is about just how soulful it is. And I, I don't think I was expecting it because I kind of did go into this expecting like a generic animated thing. And sometimes they can feel a little bit soulless. They kind of just feel like they're just like, you know, an assembly line thing, you know, low budget. So they haven't had enough time to go into the script or even the animation or all that kind of stuff. But this has really, really surprised me because this is such a beautiful, beautiful film. Yes, it is a very generic story. It's something we've seen over and over again. It's a buddy comedy where, you know, you've got the kind of opposites warring with each other. This time it's a boy and his robot, but it's very much like any other buddy comedy we've, we've seen where there's two completely different opposite personalities. One might have some crazy quirks or eccentricities and they get on each other's nerves, but then over the course of the movie they learn to really work together and learn to love each other and learn that they need each other to, to help them get through their journey. I mean, we see this in animated films quite a lot, but you, we don't see it um, kind of executed really well a lot of the time. And I feel like this movie really executed that. There's so much in here for kids. Kids are really going to love this. And even if it is just the little comedy bits and pieces with the robots, uh, there's a lot of fart jokes, a lot of poo jokes, a lot of potty humor in here. I don't mind that kind of stuff. I'm, I have a kind of really puerile sense of humor, so I will laugh at any kind of poo joke that is thrown in a movie. And I have a problem, I'm a Minions fan, if that, you know, says anything. But um, I think there's a lot of stuff in here that the kids are really gonna love, but it also does have a lot of deep layers. And this was more layered than I thought. This is like a real kind of statement against the digital age, particularly the social media age, about the way corporations deal with our data, they deal with us, you know, they know all our information, they data harvest and, you know, build these profiles of us. What we've seen happening with, you know, many of the biggest social media platforms or just online platforms and kind of what they're doing with our stuff. And this is all thrown into this story about these robot friends that these kids have and how they're, you know, essentially um, exploiting these robot products to in turn exploit the people around them. And I think it's just a really, it's, it's stuff that is going to go completely over the tops 
of the heads of the children in the audience, but it's something that I think um, the adult audience are really going to enjoy. And that really struck me that I was like, wow, this is actually quite a lot deeper than I expected. The animation on this as well is really beautiful. There's some re this really nice fluid animation. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like, you know, some of those like jolty cheap CGI animations. It is, a, a, particularly in the character designs, the character designs maybe feel a little bit primitive. They're not incredibly detailed. They are very cartoony. They feel like maybe characters that could have come out of animated films that we had maybe 10 or 15 years ago. There is a real simplicity to them and at first I was, I'll be honest, I was a little bit thrown by the character designs, maybe even some of the location designs, because they're not as intricately detailed as what we expect from Pixar or Disney. It's very simple animation. Obviously, there's a low budget to this film, so you kind of feel like, well, they're doing the best with what they can do. And it struck me in the middle that maybe they have just made their own distinguishable style. And that's the most important thing, particularly for one of these animation tubes. There's so many around. They need this distinct style. And I feel like they have gone for this really kind of bare bones, simplistic style where it is very cartoony. It is very kind of base level or mid level. They're not striving for that insane detail that you get from the Disney movies. They found their, they found their kind of level and they've rolled with it. And I feel like there is such a charm and such a beauty that comes out of that simplicity that by the end of the movie, I was like, I loved it. I love the designs. With all that said, this is a movie that really, really surprised me on multiple levels. I am surprised by how much I like this and I'm surprised by how good it is. This teaches me, you gotta learn to just kind of trust. And I know Locksmith is an animation studio now that we've gotta keep an eye on because I think they're gonna do some pretty special things going forward. And to that, I'll be giving Ron's Gone Wrong a three and a half out of five. Ron's Gone Wrong is a delightfully beautiful buddy comedy for the whole family with a charming story about friendship, acceptance and individuality. With plenty of hilarious moments for the kids and a deeper meaning for the adults, Locksmith Animation nails a terrific formula on their first outing. They are a studio to watch. Ron's Gone Wrong opens across Australian cinemas as of the 28th of October 2021. It's already open in uh, the US and the UK. Thanks again to the incredible team over at the Walt Disney Company Australia for providing me with an early screener of Ron's Gone Wrong for the purposes of this review. And thanks everybody out there for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Hey everyone, if you haven't yet, smash that big old subscribe button up on your screen to keep up to date with all my content and hit that like button down below. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month for exclusive videos, early access content and to get your name up on the screen. Thanks again for watching.